a story you'll only see on News 5. Today, Gulf Shores Band Director opens up about the tragedy at Mardi Gras. Two students are still in the hospital after a truck slammed into the marching band at the start of the parade. News 5's Debbie Williams is live at Gulf Shores High School. And Debbie, you talked to the band director about what happened yesterday. Band director William Mixon says the tragedy is easily the most trying situation of his career. That parade getting off to a great start when everything changed. I see instruments on the ground, students kind of everywhere. And, uh, and then the screaming starts. And those are the first images that Gulf Shores band director William Mixon remembers after hearing a terrible, unfamiliar sound and then running towards those screams. I get about halfway there and I see a car uh, in the middle of the band. Um, and I'm thinking, what in the world has, has happened? He has a hard time shaking those images. We had students um, all over the place. Uh, we had students under the vehicle. 24 hours later, the healing has begun. Three students that, that went to the hospital, they stopped by to see me after they had been discharged. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and that, was a, that, was a very, that was a very happy sight. The band room is beginning to fill with well wishes from around the county and around the country. The leader of the band now teaching his students a different kind of lesson. Life is, is precious and these students are precious to us. Uh, I'll say that I, I hugged my soon to be four year old a little bit longer, a little bit harder last night. Um, and you know, and I, I know that everybody else did too. And the band director said that the students were allowed to hang out with him in the band room for most of the day. He called that a good first step in the healing process. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, News 5.